this is real life. Last day in our flat. Trying to get everything sorted out. <laughs> All right, so that is it. Lounge pretty much empty. That's it. House you looks mean, like a bomb as well. Last you mean tornado. That's it. Last night in our house, we've been sleeping, camping out on our little bed here for the last couple of nights. So this is officially our last night in our little flat. It's chaos. This is real life. We're running around and in between running around, we've got friends, family and everybody else phoning us going, hey, do you want to go do lunch? Hey, do you want to go do this? And we just don't have the capacity right now to do it. But are you ready for it? I'm ready to get on that plane and just leave. But I know when I'm on that plane, it's going to hit me like a 10 ton of bricks. And you're going to have a sobbing one. We're going to have chunking on the plane. Maybe we should... <laughs> <laughs> She's still cute. And that's wrap, ladies and gentlemen. This is our house, wrapped up and done. I think it's just the beginning. The beginning of what? The beginning of the end. I'll tell you what, it's been... Two days of mad running around, trying to get stuff sorted out, going through stuff, dumping stuff, throwing stuff away, making, making sure you're keeping a happy wife. <sighs> the, un fun. the untold stories of immigration. You want to do it again? Wow, what's wrong? Is this not fun? You not enjoy these things with your husband? Okay, until next time. <laughs>crazy week for us we have finally packed up everything and I've got something on screen just a few more days to go until we jump on that airplane we've loved having time out here with the family coming to see some things here at the most southern tip of Africa and for those of you that can't tell this year is in the shape of the African continent which is really really cool um, yeah so now the last goodbyes the rest of the stressful things, getting all those things put together. And then it's on the plane. Hey sister. Hello. Have you enjoyed having us in your humble abode for the last couple of days? I have. Please don't start crying. I'll try not to. <laughs> <laughs>
So yeah, we're gonna get back to packing. So if any of you have some good tips about how to pack, and when you will probably only see this after we've packed, drop us a comment down below and let us know how you pack. We are in two minds. We're either gonna jump onto YouTube and go and check out all these fancy people pack, or we're just gonna put everything into our bags. And as long as they are underweight, we're good to go. And I, I really do think we're gonna be underweight. But anyway, let's get to it. So if I'm teary eyed, it's not because I'm crying because it's our last day here. But it's because <laughs> <laughs> we just had the dreaded COVID test. So Lindy has done it multiple times before. This was my first time and it still feels like I've got somebody scratching the back of my eyeball with a crowbar. Got a lot to do today. COVID test done. Physio appointments just get a alignment and check up before we leave. Doctor appointment. Doctor appointment just for checkups. Final baggage pack. Make sure we're underweight. Make sure everything else is intact. Dinner with family. Dinner with family. Final goodbyes tomorrow. And then we're on the plane. So today's going to be a bit of a run around, but for now we've got the dreaded 15 minute wait to make sure that we can fly tomorrow because of COVID-19. Maybe we're not allowed to say, so because of 19. So life update, COVID tests, negative. Physio, alignment, sorted. Getting our first bit of America on, driving a Jeep, not so sorted. First time driving a Jeep. First time taking it out and we're left stranded. America, I hope this isn't what you got planned for us. Three, two, one, internet magic. Less than 24 hours until we fly. All of this needs to fit into those few bags on the floor there. We ended up some of these vacuum bags. Uh, that should sort out all the big stuff, but it's crunch time. So we are gonna get this done and we will check in with you guys when we're done because we're checked in with our airplane. We are ready to rock and roll. Tomorrow's D-Day, we're flying. And if we haven't already told you, Joshua has ended up in hospital. Uh, he's got pneumonia, laryngitis, and double ear infection. So not the best way to say goodbye to the little guy, but it is what it is. So we're going to focus on getting this done. Next up, I don't know what's up next. We've got vaccination papers. We've got our passports ready. We've got, uh, what else have we got ready, Bear? Everything's ready. Ready to rock and roll. What are Everything we except our bags. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! Status update. It's just about midnight, so almost into the final day before we go. Actually, there we go. We fly later today. So we've managed to get two and a half bags packed. This stuff here needs to end up in that bag over there. And that bag's packed, that bag's packed. We're gonna get it all in. Yeah, I'm not worried. So we're gonna call it a night. Tomorrow morning, finish packing, nothing like working towards the deadline. And then it's time to load up in that plane and fly away. So, good night. sweet note again to say goodbye to this little champ who's in hospital with bronchitis, laryngitis and middle ear infection. Well that first folks, we are walking through the airport now, we've said our goodbyes, we've shed the tears we've done everything else that needs to be done now it's a great flight to america so if you want to see how that goes you're gonna to have to check in for the next video because this is the end of this one until next time make sure you hit that like comment down below let us know where you've traveled how it went and everything like that along with smash good that evening, subscribe button and, and good evening to you